Bastian Cornelis van Frossen, born 5 April 1941, is a Dutch-American philosopher. He is a distinguished professor of philosophy at San Francisco State University and the Makash Professor of Philosophy Emeritus at Princeton University, noted for his seminal contributions to philosophy of science. Biography and career Van Frossen was born in the German-occupied Netherlands on 5 April 1941. His father, a steam fitter, was forced by the Nazis to work in a factory in Hamburg. After the war, the family reunited and emigrated to Edmonton, in western Canada. Van Frossen earned his B.A. 1963 from the University of Alberta and his M.A. 1964 and Ph.D. 1966, under the direction of Adolf Grunbaum from the University of Pittsburgh. He previously taught at Yale University, the University of Southern California, the University of Toronto and, from 1982 to 2008, at Princeton University, where he is now emeritus. At San Francisco State University, he teaches courses in the philosophy of science, philosophical logic and the role of models in scientific practice. Van Frossen is an adult convert to the Roman Catholic Church and is one of the founders of the Cura Institute. He is a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, an overseas member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences since 1995, and a member of the International Academy of Philosophy of Science. In 1986, Van Frossen received the Lakatos Award for his contributions to the philosophy of science and, in 2012, the Philosophy of Science Association's inaugural Hempel Award for Lifetime Achievement in Philosophy of Science. Among his many students are the philosophers Elizabeth Lloyd at Indiana University, Anya Yarnig at New York University, and Professor of Mathematics Juka Karanen at UCLA. Topic. Philosophical work Van Frossen coined the term, constructive empiricism, in his 1980 book The Scientific Image, in which he argued for agnosticism about the reality of unobservable entities. That book was, widely credited with rehabilitating scientific anti realism. According to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, the constructive empiricist follows the logical positivists in rejecting metaphysical commitments in science, but parts with them regarding their endorsement of the verificationist criterion of meaning, as well as their endorsement of the suggestion that theory-laden discourse can and should be removed from science. Before Van Frossen's The Scientific Image, some philosophers had viewed scientific anti-realism as dead, because logical positivism was dead. Van Frossen showed that there were other ways to be an empiricist with respect to science, without following in the footsteps of the logical positivists. In his 1989 book Laws and Symmetry, Van Frossen, attempted to lay the groundwork for explaining physical phenomena without assuming that such phenomena are caused by rules or laws which can be said to cause or govern their behavior. Focusing on the problem of underdetermination, he argued for the possibility that theories could have empirical equivalents but differ in their ontological commitments. He rejects the notion that the aim of science is to produce an account of the physical world that is literally true and instead maintains that its aim is to produce theories that are empirically adequate. Van Frossen has also studied the philosophy of quantum mechanics, philosophical logic, and epistemology. Van Frossen has been the editor of the Journal of Philosophical Logic and co-editor of the Journal of Symbolic Logic, in his paper, Singular Terms, Truth Value Gaps, and Free Logic. Van Frossen opens with a very brief introduction of the problem of non-referring names. Instead of any unique formalization, though, he simply adjusts the axioms of a standard predicate logic such as that found in Willard van Orman Quine's Methods of Logic. Instead of an axiom like x p x x p x Display style for all x p x right arrow exists x p x. He uses x p x x x equals a x p x. Display style for all x p x land exists x x equals a right arrow exists x p x. This will naturally be true if the existential claim of the antecedent is false. If a name fails to refer, then an atomic sentence containing it, that is not an identity statement, can be assigned a truth value arbitrarily. 
Free logic is proved to be complete under this interpretation. He indicates that, however, he sees no good reason to call statements which employ them either true or false. Some have attempted to solve this problem by means of many valued logics. Van Frossen offers in their stead the use of supervaluations. Questions of completeness change when supervaluations are admitted, since they allow for valid arguments that do not correspond to logically true conditionals in his essay, The Anti Realist Epistemology of Van Frossen's The Scientific Image. Paul M. Churchland, one of Van Frossen's critics, contrasted Van Frossen's idea of unobservable phenomena with the idea of merely unobserved phenomena. Bibliography Scientific Representation, Paradoxes of Perspective, OUP, 2008. The Empirical Stance, Yale University Press, 2002. Quantum Mechanics, An Empiricist View, Oxford University Press, 1991. Laws and Symmetry, Oxford University Press 1989. The Scientific Image, Oxford University Press 1980. Derivation and Counterexample, An Introduction to Philosophical Logic with Carol Lambert, Dickinson Publishing Company, Inc. 1972. Formal Semantics and Logic, Macmillan, New York 1971. An Introduction to the Philosophy of Time and Space, Random House, New York 1970. Topic. See also American Philosophy List of American Philosophers Topic. Notes Topic. External links Van Frossen's homepage at Princeton Van Frossen's faculty page 2009 at the Department of Philosophy, San Francisco State University